back with dating games. So what games would be fun to bring to a second or third date when you're meeting somebody from your online dating site? You know how I said that it's a great idea for your second date to get to know somebody a little better and maybe add a little more to the conversation. Games can actually help. On a second or and third date, I would say these things would be awesome. Here's my first one. These are called tabletop topics. And no, I'm not an affiliate. So anyway, this was actually $14.99 at Marshalls. No, I'm not an affiliate for them either, but I should be. So it's called do-it-yourself therapy. And it says questions to start a conversation. They had different genres if they fit you better. I actually read some of them and I was like, I don't like that. I don't like this, la 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 la. But I thought this was kind of fun because obviously this is just for fun. We're not trying to provide therapy for anybody. It's basically like a hard plastic and you take the top off and you have all of these cards inside. And so one of the cards says, which of your mother's silly instructions do you still obey? These type of questions, they get people talking and then you ask questions because you know it's like well my mom always told me oh i know i know my mom always told me never go outside anywhere with a hole in your underwear because you never know if you get hurt you have to go to the hospital in the ambulance and all of this stuff then they would know that you had a hole or hole in your sock Oh no, you never wear holes in your socks. I have no idea what my daughter would say. <laughs> I'm sure there's a bunch of different things that I know as a mom, I probably said, I just don't even remember them. Or maybe I don't think they're so silly, but she does. And even me telling you about this, I'm like jabber, 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 jabber. That's how somebody picks something out of here. They start talking about something and it gives a topic. For you guys to talk about the one person told you about it and and you probably ask them questions and then you you say oh my gosh that sounds kind of like and then you tell them about what what silly thing that your mom always did or the, your friend your friend's mom actually had that same silly rule that this other person that you're with said and you tell them all about that and ha 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 anyway you have a great time then if the conversation starts to dwindle a little then you can say, okay, well, let me try it. And it's your turn. And so you pick a card and so you tell them and then you say, well, what about you? And then they tell you all about the card. Okay, you've got to admit that just took up a lot of time. And you might just kind of get over your anxiety or your awkward feelings and then start talking about things. A lot of times, if you just have a topic to get everything kind of going, then you can go, all down all sorts of different paths and whatnot. Next thing you know, it's like, oh darn, it's getting late. Like it's seriously getting late. And so it's like, wow, I'd really like to do this again. And the person that you're with says, yeah, it was a lot of fun. One thing I will say, I wouldn't bring this back for the, for the follow-up date. It's kind of like, okay, we did that. It was a great idea but don't bring it back. But if you end up meeting a whole bunch of different people, I would just leave this in the car. Oh, for Pete's sake, have it in the car. And that way, if you're ever like, oh, this isn't going well, just go grab it. Say, you know what, I got an idea, be right back. Just go grab it. You can have this out at a party that you have. Okay, now I'm getting off topic, so never mind. This is great to have. I did choose the one about do-it-yourself therapy. As long as you don't really have therapeutic type issues, you're not actually seeing a therapist, this tends to be a little humorous and you can really go a long ways with it. Anyway, tune in next time. I've got a lot more things that you can take to your second date. I hope these are helping you. I hope you'll go out and get a good game and they'll be completely appropriate for the setting. Anyway, until next time, like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know also how your dating is going. And if I can help you be more efficient, let me know, and I can come up with great questions, because I am full of questions. Until then, can't wait to see you again Saturday. Bye-bye. Hi, honey. Hi. Oh, my boy.